Hey what's up guys my name is Anand and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you two important reports that is super critical if you have an e-commerce store. You can find both the reports in Google Analytics 4 under the monetization tab. The first one is the checkout journey report. This is an interesting report because it will show you the different final steps that occur after someone initiates the checkout. So in this case, I have a property and um, over here you can see that 1,800 users um, have initiated the begin checkout process. That's step one, right? And then after that, the next step is, you know, adding delivery information. So it's almost the same. Um, well, there is of course a drop off, um, which is only 54% have uh, gone to the next step. Um, from the first step uh, and the second step is add delivery after that around similar number of users have uh, initiated step 3 which is add payment but then if I move this a bit you can see uh, 644 users have uh, actually completed the purchase so as you can see this is a pretty interesting report and over here you can also see like um, you know how many people um, have initiated the begin checkout and then how many of the um, users have actually finished the purchase now if you take a step back for this particular um, e-commerce property that's a massive difference in terms of how many people have initiated checkout and how many have actually completed right so you can see that this this is a significant drop-off uh, and this drop off is happening when they initiate the checkout. So I think this is a pretty important report and this, the next area that you can definitely explore is um, right now it's giving you a breakdown by device category but you can actually select maybe even like country. Now in this case this e-commerce store is only selling products in, in the US um, but let's say you want to select region right you can now get like uh, state specific report so let's say you know um, you can if you detect any kind of like anomalies like for example Texas over here hundred users have actually initiated checkout but none of them are actually converting but in New York 124 users almost the same you know they started the checkout process uh, and then 39 of them are actually finishing the the fourth step which is you know the purchase event over here so as you can see th there is a lot of data that you can gather from this and you can then modify your e-commerce store you can try to analyze like why certain people are converting from certain states or certain countries and why are some of them dropping and based on that you can you know take an action now that's the checkout journey the other report I want to share with you is the purchase journey now this is different than checkout because this happens uh, and let me um, choose another date range let's say 90 days right so we have more data um, now in this case as you can see this starts from session start so from the moment someone lands on your website now in this case around 100,000 users have you know um, started the session but then out of that only uh, 2.3 K which is 2,300 users have viewed the product that's again a freaking significant drop off uh, so you can easily like now try to analyze like why is there a massive drop off um, and again um, look at this the the mobile users are significant over here and from 68,000 uh, only 1,400 are actually viewing the product so what's going on um, is there a mismatch in the intent is there something wrong going on with the um, landing page? Is there an issue with conversion rate opt optimization? There's a lot that you can do, right? Uh, and then finally, you can see like out of 68,000 users, uh, only 92 people are converting. And then on tablet, um, you know, even though it's on par with the number of users from desktop, you can see that there is literally zero conversion. And uh, Think about this, no, out of like 9,000, you can see like only 90 people are viewing the product and then literally there's nothing happening over there. So why don't we optimize this store for tablet? You know, that's again 
an important consideration to make. Um, and likewise, the checkout report or checkout journey report, you can filter it down by region. Again, um, you can see over here. Wow, this is crazy. Now, if I if I select like hundred rows over here, um, well, that's interesting. Oh, that's because okay, yeah. But yeah, you can see like um, there's some mismatch going on after like begin checkout. Uh, there's literally like zero purchase count for different states. So uh, either the there is an issue with the not set or the data is not getting recorded properly. So you can see like you can find granular data in terms of what's going on. And then again, let's say you're looking at different browsers. You can see that, okay, you're getting the data from different browsers. Um, so in the previous report I showed you when we selected region, we were not able to see any purchase count that's definitely an issue in terms of data reporting but in this case you can see for browser you are able to see the user count so this is how you can th start thinking about like okay i have a report i know how many people are coming into my website i know how many people are viewing the product but then nothing happens after that why is that happening let's fi figure out is it an issue with the browser is it an issue with the city or the state targeting you know because when you select region or state that's when you will know the intent of the audience is it a mismatch in the product versus who is viewing it is it an issue with conversion rate optimization landing page there's so many variables that you can then start analyze and figure out so that's a quick update on checkout journey report and purchase journey report i hope you enjoyed the video make sure to like subscribe and comment to my channel and i'll see you next time thank you